there is a battle going on. It's between the true church of Jesus Christ and the fake Christian church. And that battle is real. People can't even distinguish between those people who are a part of the true church, the bride of Christ, and those people who are a part of the apostate church. You go to a lot of these mega churches, Jesus is not taught. The message of Jesus Christ is kicked out and people still go there and say that they're following Jesus Christ. Let me say it like this. If Jesus was to go to that church, a mega church, a prosperity church, and preach what he preached when he walked the earth, they would kick him out of their church. I'm talking about the true church and the fake church. The battle is going on. People are being deceived, willingly being deceived. They can't hear the voice of God anymore. They reject the Holy Spirit. If you say anything about living holy, then they say it's a work salvation. There is a battle going on between the true church of Christ and the fake church. The fake church, they say everything right. They act right. They dress right. On the outside, it looks like they are right. But then, when you look a little closer, when you analyze it a little closer, you will find out these people are the enemy of the cross. These people are the enemy of Christ. Because anyone who love their sin and fight to defend their sin, they are the one that crucified Jesus Christ. The true church, the true church knew and knows that it's sin that placed Jesus Christ on the cross. It is sin that he died for on the cross. And that church does everything, wants nothing more than to be free of sin. To live a life where they no longer sin at all. In the fake church, if you say such a thing, they will call you heretic. They will call you crazy, a heretic. Why? Because they are not the true church. They are opposed to what God went to the cross for. Jesus went to the cross to save us from sin. He died because of sin. How can you love the thing that Jesus died to save you from? There is a battle going on between the true bride of Christ and the false church. Can you identify the true church? You turn on your TV which I don't recommend, and the false church is there, and Satan gives them a voice to speak into your living room. The true church, the true church is not given that voice. The church that talks about holiness and righteousness and godliness and make no compromise with sin but expose it and rebuke it, that church is shut away. There is a battle going on between the true church of Christ and the false church. 
you and I must repent and live holy and righteous and godly life. People in the false church, they hold on to a form of godliness, but they deny the power of. If they really want the power, they will accept the true words of Jesus Christ. Turn away from sin and start hating the sin that crucified the God of all creation, Jesus Christ, the one you say you love on the cross. Hate that sin that crucified him. It is your lies that crucified him. It is your fornication that crucified him. It is your hatred that crucified him. It is your jealousy that crucified him. It is your envy that crucified him. It is your gossip that crucified him. It is your backbiting that crucified him. It is your homosexuality that crucified him. It is your lesbianism that crucified him. It is your pride that crucified him. Whenever a man, a woman, a person, a church start hating that which crucified the Son of God, then, and only then, that person is now transitioned into the church of Jesus Christ. As long as you love sin, it will always be the false church. Embrace the cross. Embrace righteousness. Embrace holiness. It is sin that nailed them to the cross. Our sin, my sin, your sin. How can you love your sin any longer if you say you love Jesus Christ?